All right, we are back with Super Auto Pets. The weekly, like I hate to say it, okay? I, I like the weekly, but it's old and busted now. Generated every Monday, TylerTheCreator.gif. So that was a, a GD lie. We're going back to the evergreen. Let's let's learn something about expansion pack two. Let's raise our our awareness. Let's raise our knowledge and get it going. We got ducklings. We got seahorses. Interesting. It's an interesting way to think about things here. I think you run a two three horse. I think you run two ducklings, even though they suck, um, just because there's level up potential there. I think you freeze another seahorse, and I think you, you let it ride. Let's be, uh, let's be a clumsy finger, you know? It kind of sounds like a, a, a Hold Steady album that's an homage to uh, the Rolling Stones, also known as the entire uh, Hold Steady discography. We draw round one. A lot, lot of people are going to minus two that, but that was a very apt comparison. I got to think, let, let's run through the process here, okay? Um, if we sell these two, you would become a freaking 1-7. We would have 12 gold to fill four space, but would, it would not be possible to do so. But you'd be a 1-7, which is kind of insane. And you're a 1, you know what? I mean, you're base. we're trading a 1-2 for an O2 stat gain and a gold. I don't think that shit, I mean, that poop is that bad. I think you try something like this, and then we might as well, like, add an iguana here. Like, it would be nice if, uh, if the iguana could have a, sorry, add a peach to the iguana. It would be nice if it had a little more attack. But keep in mind, it only takes one extra attack to freaking, oh! To, to double its DPS. That's so easy. What a shot, man. Okay. Straight up for now, I think, I mean, in theory, I think you could roll a pug here and then your iguana. I don't know the order of the triggers, but I think you could give it a shot here. I think you could give it a try. That level up is, you know what? Let's go jellyfish. And then level up your iguana anyway. And then we can talk about combining our seahorses next round and getting the pug out here anyway. I mean, a 311 on 420? If that's not the damn dream, I don't know what is. Get sniped. Get sniped. Good sniping. Okay. Okay. I don't think we can beat a 10-8. That, that's too strong for me, Traveler. Never mind. We can at least... We can win? Holy cow! That's kind of insane, man. Okay. You've got to get combined so that the pug can at least give our jellyfish a temporary buff. And then let's look for more. I don't respect a yak. I do respect a yak. I just... We don't need it here. I'll go sicko mode. I'll get a two-cost apple. I know it's a little unusual. A lot of people would tell you this This is not the way. I think this is the way. But why don't you take one of those? And then honestly, why don't you pill bug and, and get a jellyfish to possibly hit level two? It's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Four, five, four, five. Get sniped, get sniped. Who's getting sniped? Nobody's getting sniped. That's okay. Sniping, I've always said, is overrated. By the way, we win these? Holy cow. I can't believe it. It's a bit of an atypical team here. Um, toad is just absurd. You, you always go Toad. I think you can sell a mean bug, add a Toad to the squad. Roll me. Toad is like, you, you can play it into the end game. Let's add an iguana. Let's talk about adding a cucumber. Any progressive food is something we're going to consider pretty, uh, pretty highly here. Honestly, hear me out. I, I know that we lose the pug synergy there, but I kind of like the woodpecker for some double weakness right off the bat. And then a seahorse leveling up and a toad maybe getting a little stronger. I like this, dude. I like this. 
We're in the end game, Mr. Stark. So true. When they said that in Infinity War, I was like, what? And then the next movie was called Endgame, and I was like, whoa! Okay, good, good team, good team. Strawberries are strong, strawberries are strong. Buff me. An eel. Not not interested yet. Jellyfish is doing some stuff. An iguana. Okay, hold on. Four now. It's tough. None of these units are like uh, permanent right now. Um, you could always swap and then hit you with the cucumber, but it's it's a little slow. I feel like rather than swap, I would rather... You know what? Anytime I say you know what, you know you're in trouble. Let's um, let's cucumber this jellyfish real quick. It's a five eight. It really needs to level up. NL, do you like hummus? Oh yeah, big fan, big fan of hummus. Hold on, I'm focusing. I'm thinking. I'm in my mind palace. We win these. I was just thinking, I was watching an episode of Sesame Street today where Cookie Monster and Gonger cooked some hummus. And I was like, I should make some hummus. Or, let's be honest, probably buy some hummus. I know it's easy to make. I kind of got a lot going on right now. Level me! Level me! Jerry. Okay. It's easy. Next round we get a jellyfish. It levels up. We level up everything else and it goes hard. We have weakened uh, a unit that kills itself. That's unfortunate. But you know what? This doesn't seem that that um, bad. This doesn't seem that bad. We draw these. Okay. I feel like um, hummus is, is a pretty good baby food. Let's go. Huge plays. Now something's got to go. I think I hate to say it. I know that you give two weakness. The problem is we gotta we gotta work in a better unit now. Everything's gotta go. Let's focus on this. Okay, sell me, buy me. We're we're gonna strengthen our jellyfish, which would be very nice for us if we could see another jellyfish. I'm gonna level you up, man. No, first I'm going to buy an anteater. Then I'm going to level you up next turn. This team is still pretty good. What's your favorite joke food? Incredible question. I don't know. Chicken nuggets are kind of, like, delicious. This seems horrible. <laughs> this could not have gone worse, maybe? Maybe? Hold on, I'm pogging. I'm still pogging. No, the weakness. Jellyfish gets upped. It's a little close. The order doesn't matter that much, but it matters. The Komodo, honestly, I think it needs to be like a 2-2 or something. That's so freaking huge. Let's go. Okay. Gain 1-1 one, one for each tier 5 pet or higher in the shop. So you would become a 3-9 like instantly. At least you scale... But what do you sell to enable it, man? What do you sell to enable it? You can't sell a toad. You can't sell a jellyfish. You could sell an anteater. An anteater is kind of like it's like a 7-4 that also gives some buffs. 7-4 that gives some buffs. You're, you, you know what? After one turn, you know, okay, and you're, hold on. Sell me. Buy me. Embrace that the toad is never going higher than level two. We rolled into zero um, tier fives. That's okay. We gotta. This is actually believer positive. This is good for the believers. That's not. That's horrendous for the believers. <laughs> copium, copium. Roll me. Give me some buffs, man. Okay, that's a good jellyfish buff. A vulture is just great, but it's like, it's too late. 
like mostly for the amount of gold that we have right now. Seems like turn 10 shrimp, I, I put zero respect on its name. And then you know what? I'm going to put a little green pepper. Put it on the iguana. It's Remember how I said this was like good for the believers? I might be persuaded to kind of like go back on that a little bit. Unless, unless we draw, after all that, we draw these. We don't need to, you know what frees me? Okay, so that's a 5-5 five, five buff. Is it worth, I mean, we're at this point, we can't afford to pivot off of this. So sure, let's do it, man. Why don't you take a carrot? It's very slow. Why don't we take some more HP? Get some good foods in your shop. Sure, do double damage once. Take some extra attack. Oh, no, no, no. I just... I'm rolling with everything frozen. Okay, but look at... Dude, this ostrich is kind of popping now. All these units are stronger than all of my units. I'm living. I'm still living. Please... Please, the green pepper saved us. Saved us. Buff me. Cheese me. Health me. Health me get away from my doubts. 19, 20, 26. It's doing something. We're on the threshold. We made it to the threshold. Mmm, this it looks like a very strong team. I've applied double weakness. That doesn't seem very smart to me. I think this team is much stronger than anything we got going on. Oh, never mind. Hold on. We're doing something. We're getting slick with it. By the, to, to the cucumber! We died to the stat that it got from the cucumber last round. Holy cow. What a rush. I mean, that was very, it was well balanced at least. IMO, they got to buff the jellyfish, man. They get, they get, come on. Freeze a strawberry every time. Hope for a bird. No bird. Sad. Um, I'll take an iguana regardless. Let me be a, an iconic foot. Quentin Tarantino's uh, burner account. I don't believe it. You know how embarrassing this is? It's just pure pain. You need this. You need this. You roll once. Freeze me. And then I got to think about how the buffs work here, okay? Just everybody relax for a second. This is a strong team. You definitely get this, but you don't have to be at the front. Let's make sure. I would like it if one pill bug got buffed. Whole squad's getting buffed. Yo, this, is, this is actually fine. This, I think this is a good layout. Why are your stats so good? Never mind, we win these. We win these. Is Pillbug any good? I think Pillbug is okay. You can you can laugh at me if you want. You can call me names. You can beat me up, take my lunch money. You can stomp on me a little bit. You can walk on my groin with high-heeled shoes or whatever. I think it's underrated, which doesn't make it good. But it's like not as bad as people think that it is. In my opinion. Now this, on the other hand, hold on. This is just good. Forget the jellyfish. You had your chance, okay? You had your chance, you blew it. 
four right now. Give me two iguanas. But you know I'm eyeing up this woodpecker long term. I love it. Look at this. Yeah, remember the pill bug used to be a 1-1. One, one. What were they thinking? Who made this? Combine me, add me. Not interested. You're still so ass. One time per turn, a one two that if you do one damage to your own unit, it gets one one once. Incredible. Read it. Listen, you piece. I will. I, I know how this looks because we're going to end up shooting our own pill bug, but these are the units that I want to get the stats on right now. I'll take it. And look, we didn't waste a shot hitting the panda for no reason. So there's that. I got that going for me, which is pretty nice. We lose. Not by a lot. We lose, though. Which animal needs a nerf, and why is it the fox? Hmm, it's an interesting question. I mean, fox is really good. <clears throat> it eating a food for free would probably be good enough. Lionfish is insane, for sure. I think we, to be honest with you though, I think we need more early game buffs. Like, that's the way I'm thinking about it. Because, like, I look at all these animals. I'm like, jellyfish, it just is so dependent on your shop, scales badly. If your shop is good, you don't need a jellyfish anyway. Because you're leveling up units that are, they get superior advantages to 1-1. One, one. Clownfish, look, I've seen it work. I'm not sold on it. Starfish, I'd rather just have a buffalo. Okapi, sure, you can win some rounds at the expense of your whole game. Like, none of these units are any good. I think these units need some buffs. Okay, hold on. This is important. I don't think this generates enough value for us, but I do think it's almost worth keeping around just in case, like, a mantis shows up, man. I'm thinking, for the record. I feel like food buffs also would have been nice. We don't really have, like, a strawberry build. I guess we're going pill bug and an eel. Okay, I do think an eel is something... No, 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 no. In the right hands, you can actually build around it. I'm thinking. I've seen it work. It's been done. We can beat this team. We can't beat this team. We cannot beat this team. <laughs> Give me a... I, I want the salamander. The salamander is still good enough. Give me some salamanders. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay. Something's got to go. We're going to send... Uh, you two are kind of like a package deal, right? You give a four... Okay, we're going to send the pill bug back. We're going to buy you. We're going to roll... For now, sure. Give me a decent... That's what I... That's some a unit that would have been useful to me yesterday! But a mantis still kind of pog, okay? I think you can sell a woodpecker. It's a 4-4. Four, four. You're a 4-4 four, four that gives 4-4. Four, four. And then... You use a mantis to kill... Like the seahorse, the iguana... And the bird are all gone, okay? So it doesn't matter too much what we kill first. I think I would rather the seahorse goes first and then we could strawberry our eel for a turn, kill our iguana if we got to. Then, you're a 5-2. I'm going to turn you into 2-5, which I don't think is like that meaningful, but...
It's something. It's something at least. It's not much. <laughs> Okay, hold on. There's something to it. Now, for now, Iguana here. Buff your eel. Now the eel's going to be a 6'9 on 420, no less. Might surprise you. I think I would rather kill the Iguana and let the Anteater live. Then use your brain. Okay. What's bet? You could be a 6 9. That will become a 6 14. Or for three extra gold, you would become a 5 13. That would. Okay, this is definitely worth it. <laughs> that seems very sensible to me. I know you're a 1 9 right now, but just let the bird do its magic, okay? How did your team get so good? What hacks did you use and where did you download them? Weak unit? Weak enough? Weak enough to party! Okay, we're back. Three wins. Get owned, get killed, get buffed. Roll me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Very important we get a unit out here. Obviously. I think we could run a stork if you gotta. But let's just see what we get here. A third mantis that would... You know, <laughs> you could have a level two mantis. No, do it next turn. I, I thought about the dumb play. Let's just get a stork out there. You never know what it's going to spit out, man. It could spit out a tier 4 and give us, like, uh, another eel or something. Okay, this team seems pretty strong. I'm not sure if that's been noted yet. <clears throat> like, substantially stronger than my team in all respects. Okay, well. Next turn, Copium. Next turn. Didn't really go anywhere. All right, let, let's add some heuristics to the Mind Palace, okay? How do you get... Uh, how do you lose early? Um, don't take a Salamander. If you get a Salamander, take a Salamander is what I'm trying to say. If you get a Yak, take a Yak and worry about the rest later. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be like an overt husband. You know, like a husband, you see him in the mall, he's carrying a purse. You're like, that husband is not just like a normal husband. He is husbanding as we speak. We definitely still run this. And then let me see like an iguana. You're too good to me. I don't, I'm not sold on the kiwi right now, okay? <clears throat> This is huge for us. It's incredible news. Owns, owns, owns. Great start. Dare I add a jellyfish? I mean, like, while we're here, why not? We can get... I know, I know, I'm stupid. I keep coming back, even though I shouldn't. But look at this. Now we got a cassowary that also scales. Last enemy forward two spaces. I'll I'll throw you for a for a damn loop here. I think I would rather sell my iguana and get a second bird out there for now. I don't think we well, I guess we should keep it around. Yak koala, please. Just, I, I gotta hit you with the classic, like, if any of those animals ever show up in our shop, then we can start to talk about it. But, like, for now, that hasn't been an issue yet. Three wins. You have to to try to make your jellyfish work. You have to take a salamander. 
It's non-negotiable. But what do we sell to make the salamander? We just freeze it for now. I know this makes our shops worse. You got two salamanders. You have to. It's ATS. You got to take a salamander. You don't have to take two. We could take one, freeze the other, start to talk about rolling. You have a start of battle effect. That's wonderful news. You have an end turn effect. I, I, I know I was, gonna, I was also going to say always take yak. I was also going to take a yak, but I'm, I'm on a different wave right now, okay? Losing to an Okapi is actually, like, it's so devastating because they threw their whole game just to beat you. It's like getting stream sniped by a random. What's the point, man? Hear me out. Sell me. Buy me. Double level for superb buffs. That's it. I thought we, I thought we had more triggers coming, but that's okay. No start of battle effects. A cucumber seems like it's always a, is a nice addition. You have a start of battle effect. The salamander is still... I mean, we got to rework the squad. This is not the order they should be in. Still seems pretty good. <clears throat> Holy cow. What is happening with this? I think they screwed up their squad ordering to our benefit. Four wins. Buff your cassowary. Keep it pumping. Buff me. You served your purpose. Sell me. Buy me. Buff me. You're at the back now. You stink. And I don't like you. Start of battle. Start of battle. You're also start of battle. If this salamander hits level two, we get some uh, we get some lollipops and perhaps some chainsaws. Remember that game, lollipop chainsaw? Just me on that one? Okay, sure, that's fine. We win these. I can't believe it. Creepy air. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. One for each win thus far. Can you believe it? I think you gotta go. You come out. I think you can go all in salamander here. We can always end on a bird. Because we get a, a benefit out of it. No start of battle effects. A start of battle effect. Sell me. Buy me. Freeze a lollipop on me. 517 salamander incoming. Get ready. Four squad. Mm, but you're stronger than me? Are you stronger than me? You're stronger than me? You're much stronger than me? Okay. The doubters live to fight another day. What the hell? I mean, you have to go. Let's start here. Level two ape. I gotta, I gotta, maybe you don't have to go this round. We don't have enough to get to a level two ape right now as a result of buying the lollipop. You have to go, though. This is going to buff the jellyfish. That's okay. I could live with it. We'll get a level up next turn. It's not that impressive. Start of battle. Yeah, okay. Got to think about it. Roll me once. You're a start of battle. The shops are a little saucy. Don't worry about it too much. <clears throat> Round eight. The squad's not that bad. Their squad is better, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> No, we are so close, man. Why is the jellyfish so ass? Make the petition to make the jellyfish better. Hold on. Get buffed. Why did I free? Oh, because it's the start of battle effect. It makes sense. Um, I was going to sell you. That wouldn't have been a great idea. You have to go to make some room. Buy me. 
sell me, buy me, sell me. Now, I'd love a start of battle effect, but to be honest, I think we just would consider purchasing an Orca instead for like one round at least. Technically, we could swap you back, but there's six gold spent on not a lot. Let's go. He buffed himself. Okay. Please. Okay, the classic toad build, but look what we did to their vulture. What happened? <laughs> no, we win these. We win. Believers win. We move the vulture back to the front. Believers made it. Feels good, man. I mean, this cassowary is getting 1-1 one, one per turn. It's just not that... It doesn't seem good enough to me. Mind you, the seahorse is really just anti-vulture technology. The seahorse is what enables the cassowary to work. It seems ass. I know it's 9.15 right now, but it seems ass. This is a very tough pivot. At least we made it to the believer threshold. That's something you could, we could say positively. I think we have to keep the orca. It has like just, it's just better for us. Like it, it, it allows RNG to save us in a situation where, you know, our own squad probably can't do it on its own right now. Sure, go ahead, take one of these. Okay, we're gonna buy a vulture. I know it's not a start of battle effect. Then we're going to sell our cassowary because it's no longer scaling. And we're going to add a stork to the equation. Now, I know the stork is going to get hit by the orangutan here, which kind of sucks. But we have now a vulture faint build tr coming in. My vulture is still close enough to the front. Good sniping. Give me more. Huge! Unbelievable! Keep sniping, baby. Hit that back, starfish. Hit that back, starfish. Hit that. Mm, that's okay. It's okay. Okay, what are you giving me? A hot eagle! Let's go. Minus 30 stats. <laughs> Minus 30. I am very smart. <laughs> oh, you won and invalidated my point. <laughs> L-U-C-K. Luck. Luck. You were so insanely lucky. Every time you buy a vulture, you get so lucky. I am very smart. <laughs> I've never taken a stats class. Now, take one of these and call me in the morning. You're just good. We could probably, you know what? We could probably, you know what? You're given two, f the, the fact that you exist is what we need for the faint trigger. You got to go Stegosaurus. I might even take you like a step further, I think you could basically sell everything, including the salamander. Our salamander is important right now, but like not as important as every subsequent faint trigger. A level two vulture would go hard. Feel free to screenshot. An anteater is just a gimme take. <clears throat> don't snipe me. Don't move me. Don't snipe me. I lived. Good shot. Good shot. Keep it going. Little Komodo dragon for you. Good shot. Keep it going. Okay, I'm realizing we actually did get pretty lucky last time. <laughs> Eagle! Never mind. We're the greatest to ever do it. Look at that. Two units remain. Vulture's too good, man. I, with God as my witness... You can, sell, you can sell your salamander. I'm full in, man. You can run a stork at the front. Anteater taking the... You maybe have. You take the... Yeah, I'm trying to think of you. Okay, you're also... Yeah, because then you can spit this out with the damn popcorn. Now, we lose... Obviously... If... Nobody needs popcorn now, actually. We lose, obviously, if our vulture gets sniped or moved. But if it doesn't, we got a chance. No snipes, no moves. Green pepper disappeared. What's happening now? Keep it up. Keep it up. 
Little, okay, that's fine. Another faint trigger. Here, this is where the money starts to get made. A little platypus, nice little snipe. They got their own orca. That does seem like a problem for me. Don't worry, that jellyfish any day now is going down. There comes the badger. That's kind of unfortunate, I think. All right, we stand no chance at all. <laughs> all right. Still, eight wins. That guy just got so lucky, dude. He got so lucky. Level two vulture, honestly, show me the power curve on that. Double, level two vulture probably would have won that. How did they get a good jellyfish too? Well, we'll go, honestly, yeah, we'll go, okay, two, two mean bugs. With a mean bug kicker and a mean bug frozen. Um, I wish we could be the mean bugs. That'd be an edible hat, how about that? Edible gem? I'm not really that into ring pops. We actually draw. Edible seeds? Who are you, mouth? Five mean bugs. And one of them is stronger. Who's getting the most? <laughs> You're getting two hits, two hits, two hits. You should take this then. Five mean bugs. Looks good to me. Daniel subscriber spotted. We actually win this? That's so funny. This is a damn infestation. I mean, we did just get 10, well, no, we got eight H, well, no, we got seven HP. You generate zero, you generate one, two, two, two. Seven free HP, that's kind of good, man. Now, what if we could get one of you stronger? Like, who, you losing HP is irrelevant. I definitely feel like adding a yak on this makes a ton of sense. Then I'm also like, you getting weaker doesn't matter because you're going to have the most HP. Or do we just give you one more shrimp? Yeah, yeah, one more shrimp. Look at that. Okay. But then eventually we're going to combine into you and you. So let's start by combining here and then toss me a yak. Order. I'm not sweating the order. I, sometimes I feel like people, it's like when you go to an NHL game and people just shout shoot. They're like, I don't know what's happening, but I just shout it because everybody else is shouting it. You can take one of these. If we combine you, you're going to give out two HP this turn. So you know what? I'm going to start the uh, the combining action. Yak at the back. It literally doesn't matter as long as it gets two hits. Obviously, right now, it's only getting one. So we can also give it a permanent 1-1 one, one buff per turn. Friend hurt. Okay, you go to the back because you're ass. You give two to the two pets behind. Okay, maybe we buff a koala. So maybe we actually do it like this, but then you need to get hit twice. <laughs> I'd like, you know what? Maybe the koala doesn't matter. Maybe we just do it like that so you get three HP. I know you're not getting the buffs that we need now, but I'm like, what if I, but if I move you to this, then I don't, I don't understand anymore. I don't, I don't get it. Um, koala at the front yeah but, but then like okay hold on no combines you're getting one you're getting two two you're buffing one ah that's it that's 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 the squad okay sure 
I mean, if you're going to be getting some HP, I'm okay giving you this. <laughs> you're going to get one extra HP anyway, sure. You get hit, the koala gives you a small buff. Then, the, then we fight, then the mean bugs go off. Doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We do lose this one. Is death not optimal order? Okay, Albert Einstein, why don't you write out the optimal order? You don't get any bonus points in class for saying, teacher, you're wrong. You got to provide the right answer. I got to think about this, okay? I don't want two yaks. I want a level two yak. But I might want two koalas. I mean, the koala generates one one per turn, whereas each bug generates two HP every other turn. Okay. So I think you gotta go. I think you just go all in on the bug for now. Then you got two koalas at the back, generating two two buffs for your yak every time. Salamander we don't care for. Toad is just, it's, it's a takeable option here. But would I rather go level 2 Yak? I mean, these only work once per turn. It, it amps up your scaling. I think we got to give it a chance. Now, what about an eel next turn? And then the pill bug might have an actual chance to buff the eel enough for the eel to be more useful. For round five, this seems kind of good. Oh no, my koala that fucking sucks anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it's true. Okay, we win these. You should get the buff. Yeah. But we don't really want to lower your attack. I, I'm content with this as it stands. And I think you, you could make do with a little cucumber. And I think y the yak could make do with a little fried shrimp. It's going to get two more HP. Well, it's actually going to get minus one HP this turn, but then plus two and then plus two at the end of the net. Okay, 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 okay. I love it. Love it. Our team is just better, man. Bow down. That's four wins? Four wins. Okay, I'm feeling good on this one. I'm seeing the matrix. I would love this koala to level up, let me tell you. I gotta tell you, 17-11 versus an 11-17. I, I think for now, you'll benefit from the swap. That matters to me. You getting more HP matters to me. And you know what? I'm gonna justify the mean bug's existence. You take a little hit, you get a nice little attack, you get two buffs. Eventually, those koalas are going to get combined. 5'8", so it's actually a 5'12". That's what I tell people my height is. They know that... Maybe I didn't see what their front unit is, but are they aware that they're going to kill two units with their mantis? Eel needs it. Honestly, eel needs it. Eel needs it, dude. Let's go. Okay, we're not pivoting to a vulture for once. For once in our lives... Who sings that? Is that Smokey Robinson? Is that Stevie Wonder? For once in my life... Who's... I think Smokey Robinson. I think that's a Smokey Robinson. Smasher Pass. Is that Smokey Robinson? It's Stevie Wonder. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm thinking. Nothing. Don't need it. We, ne we just need another koala. That's it. Okay. Now we get the koalas combined. All of a sudden, you're a tier four. You could add a lion. We could add whatever you like to the squad. Three gold if you have a level three friend. 
Could this come to pass? For the first time ever, could this come to pass? Let's give it a chance, man. We've never given it a chance before. I gotta tell you, um, you don't green pepper the yak. That's a classic mistake. I think the most important thing for us is an eel getting even stronger, but we can freeze our koala here. I know it's not generating anything for us yet. But it could happen. Big whoop. We win these. Seven wins. We got some momentum. I think you definitely, like, just buy some foods. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Nothing. You know what? Buy some attacks, man. We got a squad that's actually generating, like, some value for us. It's a, it's a new world. And it, can I tell you, Malf was right, man. It's Big Bug. Holy cow. Oh, no, a vulture. But they don't have any faint triggers. We, we're getting the vulture like it's still in its nascence. That was satisfying. Now, we got one last bug trigger, right? But we're probably going to keep it around for stats regardless. There's our last bug trigger. I mean, if we're being honest, the hammerhead just hasn't really gotten it to pop yet. <laughs> you probably would just add a fox instead. Goodbye. You had your chance. Freeze me. Nah, no, no swap required. Don't really need any popcorn. We're looking for animals we already have and a second food that we wouldn't mind the fox eating. If it eats a grape, I would consider that pretty acceptable. It didn't, it's even better. That's even better. Uh-oh, 4745 Salamander and a Coconut Armor Seahorse. Wow, if you can beat this team, you can beat any team. Nobody needs the pepper, man. Definitely you need one of those. I would love to see the koala hit level three just cuz, man. Just cuz. I know, it. We look, we probably don't need to buy it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Better foods, better pizza, Papa John's. We don't need the yak. It's all, it's scaling himself as we speak. Sure, I buy an eel. If the fox eats the peach, so be it. He's going to eat the stew. He's going to eat the stew. He ate the damn stew. Holy cow. I always, whenever we're in the late game, I always look at the back just to see if we're going to be going up against a, uh, Oh, you piece. Well, well played. Just to see if we're going up against a vulture. Okay, we still got 5 HP. Just play it cool. So you're basically... Okay, you don't need to be level 3, actually. If anything, you need more attack. You know what? And then freeze his soup. Roll me. Cucumber. Not cucumber. What am I talking about? Sure, you know what? You know what? At this point, why not? And then... Two great, two great stews, man. Two great stews. Strong units. No coconut. No coconut. No coconut. No coconut. Okay, obviously they're going to get a coconut, but like... We draw these! It doesn't always take the, the food on the right. It's, it's a random chance. People are always trying to look for non-randomness, but I'm telling you, it's a random chance. Now, if we could maybe pepper the eel and pepper the bug. Worth holding. Honestly, you could take one of those as well. You're going to become our best unit pretty soon. Strawberry, not interested. Hot dog, very interested. Give me a freeze on that one. Pepper me. I want to see those peppers. Don't eat that broccoli or I'll be very upset. He ate the hot dog. He ate the damn hot dog. That has been a legendary... Let's go. A legendary... Fox for us. And we won. Look at that. 
The glizzy gulper. So true. Dude, okay. Yak koala. Kind of, kind of cracked, right? And the minority believer. You don't see that too much. A 49% believer win. A little arbitrage. Mean bug carry. <laughs> Dude, mean bug did some work. I'm telling you, if you, if you get five mean bugs in your first uh, six animals in the shop, consider giving it a try.